Good morning, everybody. Park Rat Pat right here. Yeah, I'm still at it. Is my house still in disarray? Yes. Is there still a lot of work to do? Yes. Am I doing any of it today? Hell no. All work and no play will definitely destroy you. I'm out detecting today. I don't care what I find. I know I'm going to have a good time. Let me get geared up. I am at the fish camp. Let's go see what we can find. First target of the day, right down there in the driveway area. I have never been so happy to see a bottle cap. Why am I happy to see a bottle cap? Because this is a sign that I'm taking a day off and doing something fun. Awesome. All right, in the pouch it goes. On to the next one. And next target is a rusty razor blade. Glad I got that out of the way. All right, we'll put that up in the top section just so I don't cut myself on it. All right, over there is where most of the goodies have been found. I'm working my way that way. Well, it put off a really good signal. I had to get up under there under that root. This is the area where I found those tokens. Don't know what it is. Got some holes up in it. So uh, anybody's guess on that. Odd piece. I'd almost want to say like part of a clip or clamp or tie clip. I don't know. Uh, odd little piece though. All right, got that one out of the way. <laughs> Let me fill in this hole, get a little sodi fizz, and swing on to the next one. Okay, everybody, I got a strange one here. Surprise, we've missed this before. It's so huge, and it wasn't uh, deep. It appears to be copper from that shiny spot there. Possibly brass, but I believe copper. And uh, no idea what it was, no markings on it or anything, but big old chunk going into the scrap bin. I'm going to throw this in the Subarat, and I will see you at the next hole. All right, everybody. Am I having a good time? Yes, I am. Are you having a good time? Eh, probably not. I haven't found anything stellar. I only got one day to play, you know, lots of work to do at the house, so we're going to mix it up. I'm going to another location. It's a church permission that I've had for a while. I found some good stuff on. Now there's a new pastor in charge. He's okay with me swinging there, and the area I've been swinging in, now they're using as a parking lot, which means there's a great opportunity for more modern finds and lots of pocket change. Let's go see if we can find some. All right, I'm at the church property. Now over there is the new parking area. House used to stand there where my wife's grandparents lived long, long ago. And um, this building here used to be where the uh, pastor lived. And now they use it as the, the uh, children's center. First signal down here, bingo bango 13. Looks like I got a coin. Could be a zinc, most likely is. Got that kind of feel, but hey, I got a penny on the day. That's the way to do it. And we weren't about a foot away and got another zinc on the day. I'll take it. Okay, this was coming in like an eight or a nine nickel kind of signal. Turns out to be part of a toy car. Some type of toy vehicle. Hopefully more of it's down there and uh, I'll see if I can find that. Wish me luck. Alrighty, I have found more of the wreckage. These pieces were only about a foot and a half away, uh, but they were a lot deeper. So, uh, looks like we got another wheel well there. Part of a window frame would seem like. This piece, I'm not sure. By that post, uh, front end or hood, maybe the trunk lid. Uh, not sure, but we got a few more pieces. That's what counts. All right, fill this one in and swing on low and slow. Ooh. Well, all right, all right. I got a third piece. This looks like it might actually be uh, the hood of a car. 
and I can't see if there's any markings on the underside but uh, all right puzzles coming together slow but sure happy about that I mean uh, fill in that nasty looking hole and move on to the next target okay so I've been working in this direction and going across here doom 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 is where I've been finding the car parts and then I swung all the way up through here and got nothing then I changed angle and I started swinging moving in this direction and I got a great signal there down fairly deep and look at what I got y'all know what that is don't you that is a strike wheel you can see the the knurling on it on the edge that is a strike wheel probably from an old Zippo lighter so hopefully there's more cool stuff around or I don't know with those little gears on the end yeah I'm gonna have to say this was a strike wheel alrighty uh, let me keep hunting see what else I can come up with it might confirm that okay just getting close to this tree and get a nice repeatable signal coming up a little high but uh looks as though I got me another zinc penny I will take that <laughs> all right all right good stuff in the hole this time got a nice signal down there and pulled out this rusty little whatever it is but there was still a signal in the hole so I went a little bit deeper and I look at this beauty old car key nice GM I believe General Motors we should be able to uh, get a rough year on this one I believe once I get it cleaned up and check it out closer awesome stuff park rat loves the keys this has made my day okay we had to go deep on this one uh, took a second scoop out there and then found it in the scoop beautiful color on this it's a 1979 memorial come on focalize focalize there we go all right beautiful memorial 1979 nice stuff right there happy to get a copper on the day okay shallow enough at about three and a half four inches and uh, we got us another zinc man this one has seen some action all right saved in the pouch okay I'm finally starting off into the parking area here and just gonna go over everything open for a lot of shallow signals and surface finds down here though not so much a surface find I had to get down about seven inches this old appears to be part of a grommet of some sort awesome stuff in the pouch well not the penny I was hoping for but a nice little chunk of copper nonetheless add to that scrap bucket oh, all right all right we hit down about seven inches on this one so I'm near this old power pole and what did I find but a line tensioner nice that's a fair chunk of copper in its own right all right save that one for sure all right i'm moving toward the one area of shade that i have out here there's a little bit on that back side too i'm figuring people would like to park here first but a uh, great signal down there i pulled this square washer last and this big chunk of twisted copper wire I pulled first out of there so hey one good thing for the scrap bucket one odd little mystery piece in the pouch they go happy rat moving that way alrighty this has been in the ground a long long time I don't know if it's horse tack or from piece of farm equipment or what but very very cool all right happy to throw that one in the pouch all right now we're talking this hole was a cornucopia of goodies check it out first i got this little piece of pipe and i was like yeah okay there's more signal in the hole so reached in and pulled out this bad boy right here Looked like some old plumbing stub out or something still signal in the hole i pulled out this and i was like oh yeah okay sweet this looks like the end of a turn knob for an old faucet you know those little handles that came out with like the four spokes or the two 
So very cool, happy to have that. Last signal to come out of the hole. Big, beautiful, bold, love that faucet. Man, I love getting these pieces here. This one could be could be uh, repaired, shined up, who knows. Uh, either way, it's always cool to find these. Love that. Happy day for the rat. All of this going into pouch and I'm swinging on some more. Wow, I literally got like a foot and a half away from that nice little spill of relics there and get a great signal here. Only signal in the hole. This bad to the bone sprinkler head. I don't know, I, I bet you that thing could still be made to work. That is pretty darn cool right there. Love getting these big chunks. Cool stuff. Okay, this hole was good to a rat. Super crisp signal. Piece of iron bar and a giant iron ring. That's got to be, be farm stuff, horse stuff. That is so super cool. All right, in the pouch it goes. Happy with those rusty treasures. Let me uh, get on with the hunt. All right, everybody. I just found this cool piece. Let's take a look at it up close. Okay, so took me a while to clean it up and study on it. But um, this would appear to be the roof of a toy car or truck. Uh, you can see like that back window cutout area here by my thumb. Hopefully the focus is good. I don't have my glasses on right now. But um, yeah, this looks like it might have been from a toy car. I'll try and clean it up a little bit better for the uh, wrap up. But going into the pouch, hopefully there's more cool stuff out here like that. Giant ring number two. Awesome stuff. I've hunted this property a lot. I've missed all this stuff before, so letting the ground heal is definitely doing me good. All right, here we go. It flipped out and I dropped it back in the hole. Pulled out my camera. Check it out. We got us some forkage, some cutlery. Yeah, babe. All right, I am going to brush this up, see what we can see on it. That is super cool. I rarely find forks. All right, well, this beauty cleaned up nice. She's got a little bit of detail at the top there. Hopefully I can get that to focus in. Nice detail up at the top. Um, could look on the back here. And uh, let me see if I can get steady enough to focus things. Community plate is what it says on the back. Come on, focalize. Maybe if I zoom out and let it focus back in. Sorry about this, folks. There we go. Community plate. And you can see how the plating's just curling up there and ready to fall off. But that is super cool. All right. Love it. Going in the pouch. Going on with the hunt. All right, everybody, I just got done talking to Jim. He's taking off. He detects too, uh, likes to spend his time down at the beach, so we might get together and do some hunting around. But I uh, got a great signal down here. It was coming up as a 20, but with the richness of this soil and the mineralization I know is around here, I was kind of hesitant to think it would be a quarter. I was right. It was, though, a copper penny. 1972. Look at that beauty right there. Yeah, copper for the rat. Happy, happy. All right, swinging on some more. All right, definitely getting a full array of finds today. Look at that. Garden hose end, no hose attached, but hey, very, very cool. All right, this hole gives us a base of an old light bulb socket. This would have been off of a lamp. Very cool. All right, everybody, I got a bad to the bone mystery piece right here. Let's check this one out together. And I'm swinging along and I get a great signal right here. Not too deep as you can tell and I pull out this. I mean, let me try to get into the light here. Now, it looks like a double torch. I don't know, but decorative kind of. And this one has some like rubber O-ring on it. This one doesn't. So I'm wondering if maybe these were like part of a, a gas light or something. 
you know, would have been would have been part of a lamp or was it really part of a torch with two ends because uh, these are bent up so you can't really tell what direction they were pointed in when it was undamaged I'll try and get some writing off of this later if I can and maybe that'll give me more of a clue but uh, if any of you has any idea what this is let me know down in the comments I am super curious all right this is definitely a messy hole here I got a part of a plastic clothespin followed by this piece of car trim very cool don't know if I could put a year on that but it's old we know that much and then two pieces of copper tubing don't know if this would have been water line or gas line but uh very cool more copper in a pouch happy rat not even a foot away more copper for the hopper sweet stuff some type of reduction there that is awesome all right everybody it is time for a rapid wrap up because we got weather coming had some good pieces today got some copper that's for sure lots of good copper today this thing don't know what it is awesome got the faucet that's some old iron pieces here this i think is part of a toy car I can't get any confirmation on that, but it's got all the earmarks plus bits of another toy down there. I uh, got the sprinkler. There's a good little chunk of metal for you. So happy to have that. That'll go in the scrap bin. I did get a couple of copper pennies today. A hose end here. A GM key. So this I believe would have been for the ignition because I believe door keys and trunk keys were round strike wheel off of a zippo that's what it's got to be that's my guess anyway if you know different tell me i got this cool fork on the back it says community plate and you can see that the plating on there is still in place uh, but coming off for sure so that's cool old fine there is some type of fancy up at the edge here but i haven't cleaned it up enough to really tell anything more than there's fancy there my favorite piece is this, which I believe is from an old gas lamp. Now I took this side off so that you could see the little piece inside. And that's what the uh, other cap looks like. So that's what's going on inside here too. I don't know. I'm thinking it's not a double torch. I'm thinking it's a, it's a part of a gas light. So if anybody's got any confirmation on that or ideas of what else it might be, say so down in the comments i sure would appreciate that so i got a few good pieces going into the scrap bin today that's awesome found a few coins found a few mysteries who had a good time it was nice to take a break from all the heavy work and get something like this under my belt i hope you all enjoyed this be looking for more i'll have another video in a couple of days it's a product review um, on a cleaner and then uh, after that regular hunting video, uh, probably again next Saturday or Sunday. All right. Uh, keep swinging. Keep digging. Like, comment, subscribe. God bless. And never, ever forget, you are always only one hole away from a really good day.